Hello my little stars and welcome to this game Undertale a date with Papyrus Let's see if it works this time And what I mean by that, let's see if honestly this thing is going to record my mic Because I've actually recorded this more than once and the mic for some reason freaks out I really don't know what's gotten into it or why it's acting weird So fingers crossed you'll hear me this time, let's just enter in the town of Snowdon, there lived a magnificent skeleton named Papyrus, together with his brother Sans. He lived in a magnificent house, and it was just as magnificent and grand and great as he was. Naturally, it was a perfect setting for a first date, a date between Papyrus and the unfortunate fool of the human you. Hopefully this date will be magnificent, if not Sans will probably murder you. You play as the idiot human, have fun. The only reason I'm calling the human idiot is because every single game I play so far, my character is not... <sighs> Look, seriously, every time I've chosen a fan game, my idiot definitely has not come off as being the smartest one in the toolbox. Out of all of humanity, mine has not been the smartest. A date with Papyrus! A clone game by J. Carr and Maria. Press enter. Hello and welcome to my humble abode, though I'm pretty sure you've come here more than once. Let's not talk about this, I sucked as if this is the first time I'm entering your home. I'm technically a burglar, so just ignore me. Take a look at all my wonderful furnishings. When you say your wonderful furnishing, does that mean Sans had no part in the decor? Except for the sock, I'm assuming. I'm assuming Sans had something to do with the sock. Also, where did your kitchen go? Oh god, somebody already burgled the place, the kitchen's gone! Where's the kitchen? I actually never noticed there was no kitchen. Where's the kitchen? My brother got his pet rock last year. Oh yes, I almost forgot about that thing. Ever since I've been the one on walking duty. I don't mind all the work though. His cuteness makes it worth it. The rock gives you a stone face glare. He probably knows I'm trying to get to a papyrus and he's like, Hey, don't you touch my, my skeleton. That one's mine. He's the only one that actually does anything around here. Why am I going Scottish to me again? A series of posty notes are strewn above a dirty sock. Sans, what have I told you about cleaning up? Papyrus. Maybe I left it here for decoration. Sans. What? You know your sock doesn't match our beautiful home decor? Papyrus. Of course it does. It's art. Sans. Fine, forget it. Papyrus. I do. Sans, you actually know about art? It explains your room very well. Also, look at me, I've got the cutest or it cheeks. Am I starting to already get possessed by Kara? You turn on the TV? I love this channel. The television shows static. Yeah, fair enough. There's a bony indentation on the couch. This couch has the perfect bag support for my aging bones. Lord, between the seat cushions, you find some children's action figures. Oh, I've been looking for those for ages. Oh, Papyrus, stop losing your things in the couch, please. Looks like it's a joke book. Do you want to take a peek? Yes. Inside reads a hundred jokes to rattle your bones. Is this yours or is this Sans? I'm assuming this is Sans. No way this is Papyrus. Is this Papyrus? Do you think maybe this is Papyrus's? It's probably Sans, right? Now let's go and of course have a look at the brother's room. I speed across the place, don't I? The door is locked. A strange energy seems to be emanating from inside. Sans, what are you doing in there? I want, I so want to be able to go into Sansa's room when the flames are down there, you know, when you open it and you go in and see actually what is causing the glow. Whenever you try, you can't. Eh, let me in. Ugh, curses. An image of a large bone catches your attention. What better way to pay homage to the important things in life than with a painting? Yes, bones are very important, folks. Bones for the colds. A do not enter sign and caution tape are plastered on the door. You see, that technically should have been on Sans's door. His one definitely looks like a hazard waiting for happen or like it's going to explode. That's the door to my bedroom. If you had a look at everything else, maybe we could move forward with our date. Go inside. Well, sure. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love the carpet into hell. This is so you. This flame carpet. Very, very you. Is that a dog? There's a dog in there. Am I imagining there's a dog? Bones lay her parsley in a cardboard box. A blushing white dog relaxes between them. Oh, he's in bone heaven right now. Oh, that's just my 
my box of bones. Hmm, is that dog back again? He won't leave me alone. Then you might as well adopt him at this rate, Papyrus. Adopt Toby. Toby needs a home. It's better than him working all day on the computers in Delta Room. <laughs> That's what I used to get on the magical place called the Internet. I'm what you call an influencer. 13 followers and counting. I try not to let my fame get the best of me, though. Oh, same, though. Technically, I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm going to see by the end of the year how many followers I can spook away with my annoying voice. Because so far, I'm doing a brilliant job, apparently. Haven't uploaded in two years. All of a sudden, I upload a lot and people are just leaving in droves. Eh. Who would have thought? All I had to do was come back for people to leave. Oh. So we'll see now how many I lose by the end of the year. We'll celebrate. We'll see if I can lose all of you guys. But apparently, a lot of you can tolerate me. So I'm honestly amazed with that. That's my closet. I'm quite the fashion icon. For some reason, I thought this was the balcony. Because on Sansa's and Papyrus's house, isn't there like a little section that goes outside? Is that like a balcony? I could have sworn from here, so there's something that looks like a balcony. And I thought that this was the balcony door or something. And not a closet, so I don't know. Look inside the closet, sure. A row of red capes are hung up ne neatly inside. Very, very neat. Very, very you, Papyrus. Books are lined along the shelves. I love reading. If I had to pick my favourite, I would say Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time and Erin Carl's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Very cool illustrations. Can I point out that the hungry caterpillar was something we actually all read in primary school? We were forced to, along with Ellie the Elephant, the rainbow-coloured elephant for patchwork on her. Is this Hatsune Miku? I even interact with this last time. Is this Hatsune? Oh my god, it is. Oh yes, Hatsune Miku Sans and I both are huge fans. Her music is so beautiful it brings me to tears. Papyrus' eyes began to swell. <clears throat> what were we talking about? Apparently we're talking about a possible rival for your affection. Also, wait, Sans likes her too? Okay, now I've really got to get in that skeleton's room. I need to see this for myself. Look at all the figures. These are my action figures. Papyrus' voice booms with pride. I've spent many years collecting them. I still can't believe I got my hands on the limited edition Miss Kitty figure. She's my favourite of the bunch. Oh, wonderful. I approve of the star pillow. A racing car bed is adorned with pillows. That's my bed. Isn't it neat? It's got 200 horsepower and a very comfy mattress. The best feature, though, it has perfect night light. I love the fact the front of the car lights up for him. Okay, I think that's everything. Now to get on with said date. Oh ho ho! Well, if you've looked at everything now, should we begin with our date? Um, no. I'm going to attempt one last time to run away. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold. He? <laughs> Who says he can't teleport? I call absolute malarkey. You freaky teleports. Can I leave? Can I run away? Nope. Guess not. I am forced into this. Oh, well. Just wanted to double check. Sans, it's the last of your attempt. You can stop me now and then you might be able to save your brother from being stuck with me for a very awkward date. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Fine. Spoil sport. I just wanted to find out what you were trying to do. Yes, Papyrus. We'll go on our date. Come on, then. Okay, yes. How is this gonna... Dating start! <laughs> well, here we are on our date. I wouldn't be lying if I said I've done this before. Luckily, I, the magnificent Papyrus, have come prepared. All my studies of dates say to begin with step one. Press C. Okay, where is my C? Okay, I see it. To activate your dating hub. Oh, why is Hatsune Miku up here? Wait, why does it say crime? I actually didn't notice there was crime. Why is there crime? What is this? Um... Okay. How educational! I think this calls for the next step. Let's see. Step two, I must ask you on a date. So, human, will you go on a date with me? Yes. Really? Ahem. I mean, wonderful. Let's move on to step three. Step three is easy. Wear your best attire. Hmm. Wait a minute. Those clothes you're wearing. 
Have you been prepared this whole time? Have you wanted to date me from the very beginning? Uh, 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 yes? Human! I've never seen someone so prepared! Your power's incredible! Oh my god, Papyrus, you're right. The magnificent Papyrus will not be bested! I shall witness you! Date human, watch me keep up with you! Starting with my own dating outfit! I always keep it on under my normal clothes! In preparation for this very moment, behold! Poof! Nihi, <laughs> what do you think? I love it. Human! Your compliment! So much power behind your words! Nihi, <laughs> you're strong, human, but even you have yet to understand the true power of my outfit. Therefore, your words are invalid. As much as I'm afraid this day cannot continue unless you're able to find my secret. It will never happen. <sighs> of course, Papyrus, but we all know there's only one place you could have hid something. Under the very obvious hat. Heh! Hmm, my hat, my hat! <laughs> I never thought you'd be able to find it, human! I suppose. Now I have no choice. This is my secret! A present just for you! Open it. Do you know what it is? It's spaghetti and meatballs. You think it's spaghetti, don't you? <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. This isn't just any ordinary pasta. This is the work of the Master Chef. I, the Magnuson Papyrus, have spent years perfecting my recipe. Human, the time to end this is now! You take a bite of the spaghetti, your face scrunches up. That look. Could this mean you love spaghetti even more than I do? Uh, well, that's one way of putting it. A true spaghetti connoisseur! Either that or I'm about to pass out and die from food poisoning. This cannot be! Ah! No! It all makes sense now! Your power! It stems from your love for me! I, the Magnuson Papyrus! I... Well... Shorter this is difficult to say. Human, the truth is... I'm sorry. I don't share the same feelings as you. Oh god, my freaking poor wee part. I go out of my way to impress you and you turn me down? How could you? Romantically, I mean, it's not that I didn't try to. I thought that the stage would help make these feelings come to fruition. I thought my date power would match yours, but alas, I see that I am no match. My feelings haven't changed like I thought they would. Honestly, I'm really grateful we can just stay as friends. I probably couldn't handle you. How could I have failed this date? How could I have done this to such a dear friend? Wait, no, I'm wrong. I, the Magnus Empire, am incapable of failure. Human, I will pull you back into the light and get you through these trying times of you getting over me, turning you down and dumping you. I have decided that I will be your very cool friend and act like this date never happened because you are great. What if I'm somebody that was super obsessed with you and is madly in love with you and you literally just squashed and tired my heart to pieces? And you're like, it's okay, I'll be your cool friend. I'll support you through this. And your friendship makes means a lot to me. So don't be sad. I know one day you'll find the, the one who is right for you. They won't be as great as me, of course, but I will still be there by your side, platonically as your cool friend. So thank you, human. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Thank you for playing. The papyrus is just like, these are my cool action figures. And I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It sounds like, hey, bro, I'm back. How did the date go? Um, well, we decided to just be friends. Cool, awesome, great. I don't need to dress up for a wedding. Now, for all the other options, let's see. I think this calls for the next step. And what's that? What is the next step, papyrus? Let's see. Step two, I must ask you on a date. So, um, human, will you go on a date with me? No, I'm currently being kidnapped. But human, we're allegedly on a date. Step three is easy. Wear your best attire. Wait a minute. Those clothes you're wearing. Have you been prepared this whole time? Have you wanted to date me from the very beginning? Absolutely not. So you always wear your best attire? I've never seen such power. The magnificent papyrus will not be bested. I shall win this date, human. Watch me keep up with you. Starting with my very own dating outfit. I always keep it on under my normal clothes in preparation for this very moment. Behold! <laughs> what do you think? I hate it. Human, I've never seen someone 
speak with such honesty in their heart? What power! Nih, you're strong, human, but even you have yet to understand the true hidden power of my outfit. Therefore, your words are invalid. As such, I'm afraid this day cannot continue unless you're able to find my secret. It'll never happen. Um, but I know where it is, though, so... Mm -hmm. I have to, like, click this, don't I? Hmm, my hat? My hat. <laughs> I never thought you'd be able to find it, human. I suppose now I have no choice. This is my secret. A present for you. Don't. Human, I know you care too much to destroy my beautiful wrapping, but it's okay, I'll open it for you. Do you know what this is? No idea. Allow me to explain, human, though this may look like spaghetti, it's something much more. This isn't just any ordinary spaghetti, this is the work of a master chef. I, the magnificent papyrus, have spent years perfecting my recipe. Human, the time to end this is now. Don't eat it. Wait, you mean you're leaving it all for me to have? Human? Your generosity knows no bounds! Why is it even when I try not to get anywhere with him in a date, somehow it still manages to get me places with him in a date? This cannot be! Ah! No! It only sense now, your power! It stems from your love for me! No, that stems from your delusion, Papyrus. There's nothing to do with me in this one. I'm honestly trying not to get any further with you. What the hell? I, the magnificent Papyrus, I... Well... Shoot, this is difficult to say. Human, the truth is, I'm sorry. I don't sh share the same feelings as you do. Oh, great. Romantically, I mean. Oh, thank God. It's not that I don't try to. I thought that this date would help make things... Okay, so it really doesn't make any difference then. He I think it's just the same ending with him. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same exact dialogue. I think it's also the same ending. So there's only one ending to this. Yeah. Okay, well, that was all the choices and Papyrus's reaction doesn't matter. You're still friends at the end of the day and on top of the hero doesn't care what you say. To him, you can do no wrong. Treat your Papyrus as well and don't go killing them with knives, kids, please. Don't try to avoid genocides whenever possible and just be nice to your skeletons. Give them a hug once in a while. Let them know you care. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!